Everybody, welcome back to the podcast. Episode 10. Episode 10, EP 1-0. Thank you for coming back and listening to the two of us in the quote-unquote hideout. <laughs> uh, me and Jerm were just uh, talking about our favorite subject, which is... Was cars. We talked yeah. about it actually last episode, right? Yeah, we talked about it last episode and talked about you know how these California drivers are... The exemplary, outstanding Damn. model of U.S. driving, ladies and gentlemen. Exemplary. You know, no they, accidents <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> but they're fucking... <laughs> they're but, they're, dumb, but they're a little, uh, they're a little, they're a little uh, stupid. You know, I'm just being sarcastic, of course. Like, of course. U.S. Dri- California drivers are just some of the worst of the worst. Aggressive and, yeah. and dumb. Aggressive, and I, aggressively dumb. I'm aggressively bad. dumb, yeah. Aggressively stupid. So I was actually on the way here to the recording office and then... Man, I must have had at least three different encounters. Uh huh. So like I was driving and then, you know, this girl just pulls out the driveway and she doesn't even check her left side. So I yeah. saw her. So she, I mean I could have technically hit her, but mm-hmm. So if you if you hit her though, would it would it be your fault or her fault? It would be her fault because her fault? I would Yeah, I would assume it's her fault because she's not yeah. looking. Yeah. I, right. I would have been arguing about it too. Right. But so, yeah, you have the right of way. Yeah, yeah, I have the right of way. You have the right of way. You should have checked. Yeah. You know, if, I think if I was in your position, I would have floored it <laughs> to and like 100 miles per hour. And, and it, right after that street, I wouldn't. I um, I was driving and then there's this this car tailgating me. It was an Uber driver. Or oh. Was it Uber driver or Lyft Uber? driver? Uber? Uh-huh. I don't know. He was driving freaking fast. Ooh. And he, he was tailgating me like really close. Yeah. And then he just cuts me. Yeah. And then we were both at the red light. <laughs> I was like, good job. I started, I was, I'm in the car by myself clapping, yeah. like, good job. We're, we're at the same red light. These drivers just getting, just driving fast to nowhere. To yeah, nothing. he was going crazy. Yeah. I, did he have, like, a, a person in the car with him or is just by himself? You know, I tried, I tried, like, mad dogging and looking at him. Yeah. But he had his windows tinted, so. Oh, really? I couldn't really oh, see he probably it. had a. <laughs> but, you know, he's an Uber driver, so Uber drivers yeah. are pretty, like, kind of weird. No offense, guys. <laughs> He probably like had a had a passenger in the back seat saying like you gotta go fast now if you go fast I give you hundred hundred thing hundred hundred dollars oh, okay what kind, of, what kind of action is that I don't know I have no idea uh, Hungarian or something I don't I, know I know there there must have been at least one more encounter oh there's this other guy right here just down my street yeah like he made like a sudden U turn uh-huh. and I'm trying to make this left yeah but I don't know it was just like like I, unnecessary I feel like there has to be some sort of Cause I want to make U turns sometimes at left oh le- left God, signal man. lights, right? Yeah. But there's no way to tell the person behind you, yeah. or the person that's oh, your, yeah. in, that's in the other like you know in the oncoming lane that you're gonna make a U turn. Yeah. So I wish there was like some type of signal. <laughs> you, have that... to, you have to pull your hand out. Yeah. Yeah. Go, like, yeah I yeah, think yeah, they would know. Them. Yeah. Uh, another thing is actually you know those four way stops. Yeah. Technically, you know, people go stop and then imagine there's just a, all four cars stopping at the same time. Yeah. And you're and you're first. Yeah. And technically, you can do a U-turn. Mm-hmm. Technically. Yeah. And they and as soon as you go, they yeah. start to go already. You know what I mean? As soon as you go, they start to like, go. Like, let's just say I want to make this U-turn. Yeah. I'm not going to get that U-turn. I'll tell you that <laughs> now. Because when I go straight already yeah. and I'm trying to make this U-turn, mm-hmm. they're going to go already. Like, whoever's next. Yeah. They don't wait at all. Oh, no, no, no. They don't wait. You know, yeah, they, don't, they, don't, they don't wait for anything. You know, I made a, I remember I made a legal U-turn because, you know, I was kind of a fresh driver, so. Oh. This was uh, this was on Cinco de Mayo. I'm not sure if I told this story. Yeah, before. actually, I think you did. I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where have. I made a legal yeah, yeah, yeah. U-turn, a cop, pulled, cop me pulled me over, and, and then the movie. Yeah, we watched yeah, Avengers, yeah. and all the all of our friends like we just came from watching Avengers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. the like cop there's... was like, "All right, you guys can go or whatever." <laughs> yeah. So, uh, with that though, so my, you know, I used to get huge, huge road rage. You know, I, yeah. I mean, I. You know, it's, it's it, it was es- I felt myself it was escalating and escalating and escalating. I would you know I would tailgate. I, I shouldn't do this. I, yeah. I would tailgate. Uh, I you know if you if you're driving behind me, if you're tailgating me, I'm just gonna purposely you know slow down. You yeah. know just to piss you off. I would purposely you know like mad dog them when I get to the light. When I'm when I'm next to them, but now like my 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 anger, my my <laughs> hatred. <laughs> 
has has subsided. Yeah. And that's because it's due to the wonderful benefits of cocaine. <laughs> God damn. What is this, an ad? <laughs> this shit went... Cocaine. Only five ninety nine. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> No, it's to the benefits of I've been uh, I've been going to the gym recently. Ah, releasing, releasing that anger, that tension, Ooh. and um, what I've noticed with these with the benefits of I mean I have so been, so you have been going to the gym lately. I have been how going long, to the gym. How long lately. have you been going now? So this is like so this is my I went today so only three days. Yeah, so this week. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're new at this. I'm, but, I'm new, I'm, but you already know. It yeah, feels good. Yeah, it feels. I I've been, you know, I've been to the gym. I mean, I haven't been in the gym for like over a year. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm kind of fresh going back in. Yeah, of course. And um, you know, I'm get and what I've noticed with the immediate benefits is that you know, I'm more calm about things. I'm less, I'm less angry. You you're know, probably tired. Relaxed. Yeah, I'm relaxed. I, yeah, yeah. I, no, I noticed you go early though. Oh yeah, yeah. I go like, like at what time? I, I try I leave the house my house around four fifty in the how do you morning. Wake up that early for the gym. Yeah, I just go to sleep at like nine. What? <laughs> okay. Well, it's because we don't do shit. Yeah. Anymore. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, we don't. You know, we don't really. You know what time I slept? Around. I slept like at because I was watching this movie. Yeah. I must have slept at two thirty. Two thirty. Yeah. In the morning. Two thirty in the morning. Maybe three actually. Let's yeah. just say three. Mm-hmm. And then now I'm here. So yeah. it's ten o'clock. <laughs> But uh, oh, what movie? Were, what movie were we watching? Shape of what? The oh, shape of water. Shape of water. Oh yeah. yeah, didn't that win Oscars? Yeah, I think so. That's oh, why I wanted to watch it. Yeah, but it has really high ratings, so I was just like, okay. yeah. It was also some high nudity in there too. Oh, uh, dude, that. <laughs> <laughs> let's get back to uh. Okay. Let's get back to the gym. <laughs> so so I've been going to the gym and yeah. yeah. Originally, I was training for like this 10k run. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to ask you yeah. like you know when you. When you've been going to the gym, mm-hmm. or when you started, or whenever like that, I was wondering what type of benefits that you saw, or you know, that you felt about about yourself and things like that. I, I guess it does kind of release release like uh, anger or yeah. tension or yeah. whatever. It is kind of therapeutic, I guess. It is. Yeah, it running really is. running is just like it makes you really think about stuff. Mm-hmm. I actually listen to podcasts while running too, so you kind of really? learn stuff like the news and yeah and whatnot. So like when when I I go to the gym and I weight lift. <clears throat> I do a little bit of cardio in the beginning to warm up and in the beginning and at the end to cool down. Okay. But uh, I'm in the gym, you know, I'm weightlifting, whatever like that. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just bumping it up. I'm just bump, bump, you know, and yeah. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing like, it's 5 a.m. I go 5 a.m. in the morning just so that nobody, so that nobody can be there. So the first day I was going to go to the gym, I said, okay, I'm going to go. Uh, 4 a.m. I go to 24 hour fitness by the oh, way. Okay, that's why they're open. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, I told I said, okay, I'm gonna go at 4 a.m. so nobody will be there, so I can figure out how to use all these machines yeah, yeah. and things like that, so I can you know not hold anybody up. Yeah. The thing is, this 24 hour fitness is actually a 5 a.m. to a 11 p.m. fitness What's center, that? so it's not a true 24 hour oh, fitness. My God. So I had to go 5 a.m. And when I'm there at 5 a.m., it's almost already packed. No fucking way. It's man. crazy. At 5. At 5. But the, the... This is a Friday, right? This is a Friday. It's like every day, actually. Oh. Like every day well, I, I've I, been going. I would think it's because people want to work out before work. Yeah. But 5 is, is early, though. Yeah, I you was thinking, like, you know, I'm, my, I'm, I'm, I'm here 5 a.m., you know, I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. it's going to be empty. That's so weird. I mean, it's I, usually... I, I bet the treadmill is, is freaking packed. Oh, when I go in there, in there yeah, yeah, everybody's running. Everybody, <laughs> everybody's trying to run every, to work. Everybody's everybody's running in there. I'm like, what? Like, what? What are you savages doing here? Like, Seriously. you should be sleeping. And they're probably thinking the same to you. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> What's this young kid doing? Because when I when I go there, it's usually these older folks. Yeah, that are there, and there's like maybe like two oh, two well, young people, people. Do wake up like that? Yeah, they do. That. <laughs> they wake up like early, man. They, they got like grass. Got some secret, like not secret, but they got some crazy sleeping yeah. cycle schedule whatever <laughs> but yeah um i remember so i never experienced this before i don't know if you have if uh or when you've been weightlifting but mm-hmm. have you ever experienced somebody who just hoards all the all the weights yeah like, they call them collectors <laughs> <laughs> right collectors <really>? yeah collectors <laughs> okay. they, there's this video it shows the type of people you see at the gym and then yeah. this guy just collects all the stuff and he's not even using it yeah so so actually yesterday i went to the gym yeah and 
so there's these there's two different guys. So one guy was at the when I first got there, he was at the bench press, mm -hmm. and I swear he was there for probably thirty minutes. Right. And he had all his backpack and stuff and whatnot. Yeah. And then he would leave to another machine, and but he would leave his equipment at the bench, and I I want to use his bench. Yeah. He would just leave his stuff there, but he would move oh on to other machines. And so he was. So he was. He was. Like, he was holding down his, quote-unquote, territory yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. while he went to go do some yeah, other yeah. stuff. And he was there for, I swear, a long, like, 30 minutes when yeah. I first got there. And then there's this other guy, me and my friend AJ were waiting for. It was, like, a, I think, like, an ab machine or something. Yeah. And he was just on his phone the whole time. Some <laughs> some older, he was old and Filipino. Oh, uh, did you see, like, what he was doing? He was texting. Oh, like, he was, or, I don't know, he was on his phone. And what, then, do you, what do you feel about that? People who who are on their phone. I hear we were waiting, man. Yeah, me and AJ were actually. That was like we don't really wait and stuff like that. But yeah. we were actually waiting, and and we didn't want to be those people to say, "Hey, can we use a machine?" Yeah, Because you know? yeah, yeah. I hate that. Yeah, but I mean, te he is technically just on the phone doing nothing. Like, see, that's so I have like a little paranoia about that mm -hmm. for myself because you know after my my set. I get my I get my twelve reps in, yeah, you yeah. know, and then I and then I'm resting, right? Uh -huh. And what am I doing when I'm resting? I stretch a little bit, yeah, and yeah. then after that, like I have, I, I want to change my music. I want to change, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course you want you want name. your music. On yeah, point man. Yeah, but I I feel like <laughs> I'm so paranoid about this is that when I'm searching through my track list, yeah, I feel like somebody's just gonna come up to me and be like, hey, why are you on your phone? <laughs> Just, some big some, ass some dude, big, some big some white dude, just, six four, yeah, shredded, six four bench cut. press is eight hundred. <laughs> He's just like, why are you on your phone? Get off your phone. If you're not here, to work out. Then leave. <laughs> I'm just, par I'm just paranoid about that. I mean, none of that shit happens. Because today was the first time I ever saw somebody was on their phone. Mm -hmm. They were sitting there, and they were just texting. Mm. I was like, oh, okay. So, but nobody's going up to him. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I have really nothing to be. Yeah, you should. You should probably just have your headphones on and act like you don't hear him. Yeah. I mean, okay. Technically, they they probably would be like, oh, he can't hear me. Yeah. The, um, there's this other guy that we used to go to the gym. Me, me and AJ used to go to this other gym, and there's this guy. He would go on those. I don't know. What you call. It, I guess it's called leg press machine. Uh -huh. Oh, so, I love. Dude, that's my favorite. Machine. You're sitting down, right? Yeah. I so love you're sitting that down. And you're doing this like leg push motion yeah. for your what is it like your quads? Your yeah, butt, your quads or something. Your your whole leg basically. Yeah. That shit's so, beautiful. Yeah, there's this guy that does it, and he'll sit and put his headphones on, mm -hmm. and he'll cross his arms like this. I'm crossing my arms, guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if you guys. So uh, he crosses his arms and he starts yeah. leg pressing for about 45 minutes. What? Yeah. So he listens to his headphones and leg presses for 45 minutes. Like, I not, swear. Not, not 45 minutes straight, but... Like, no, yeah. 45 minutes straight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. What? <laughs> I'm serious. I have a vid... I'll show you the video later, too. Do you think he has Goku or something from Dragon Ball? And, no, but the actual thing is he's not even really leg like, pressing. He's kind of like barely moving like oh. like three inches. Like he's just pushing it with his leg by three oh, inches. Oh, okay. So he's like... We like, don't know what he's doing. Is it like... For his calves? No, sort of? he just. I think he does it just to waste time, man. Really? Yeah, I think he does it because he's he's probably forced to go to the gym. Yeah. Or we, I, me and me and my friend AJ, we we just watch him. We don't know. <laughs> we we really don't know, man. What? Maybe he's like some type of sage or something. Some I don't old, know, man. You know, he wants that master. machine. He's so relaxed at the gym, dude. Oh yeah. <clears throat> well, when I'm on, when I first, uh, I was I was scared on that machine because um i've seen video uh, one video uh -huh. where a girl i'm not sure if you've seen it seen it but it's she's on the machine right and she's sitting down and i guess she has too much weight on mm -hmm. there way too much weight that she can handle so there's a there's a safety mechanism on this machine and when you release it the weight drops and your oh, yeah, yeah, your yeah. leg catches it right yeah, yeah yeah i know what you're talking about so when she did it she released the safety mechanism and the weight Basically, <laughs> just basically crushed her legs. Like it bent her legs, like the other way. So Fuck. it it bended her. She did a V her... or something, or what she do? I, I I just I just cut off the video. I couldn't I couldn't wow, I couldn't take too, it anymore. It was, much, it was too much. It's almost like cringy too. Yeah, right? it was. It was so it was kind of hard to watch. It just her legs just bent the other way. So when I was trying it my first time, I was like, damn, let me just try uh, lightweight, you know? lightweight. So I put like ninety pounds on there. Oh, was, man, that's not like really. I, I was, <laughs> and I was like, huh, okay. So I I tried it and I was kind of scared. So, but it, the thing about that is the leg press, you can push off it and 
before the, you release the sec- safety mechanism to check how heavy it really yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's like a su- small move. Yeah, yeah, it's a small movement, unfortunately. So I released the mechanism. You know, oh, okay, it's just, it's, yeah. it was pretty nice. It was it was pretty. I'm not gonna say easy, but it was it was uh good. It, it was manageable. Mm-hmm. So I added more weight, and now it's like 180. Oh, so shit. I did that, and I was like, <laughs> oh wow, okay, it's it's not bad. I'm going 90 Pedro. pound increments or what? Yeah, yeah, basically, <laughs> and I added more weight. Now, now, now I'm doing now I'm doing two seventy. Okay, and then like yeah, already, I, I yeah, already, and I was like, what, what's going on? Like, what hmm. do I have? Like hidden well, thigh power? Well, your legs are, are t- yeah, I think are I could stronger. Do, I could probably almost do that. I, I'm I'm pretty sure. Like, and then um, I I can feel it when the weight is going. And so this is this is like kind of heavy for me. So I can feel the weight going down. Yeah, and I kind of panic because. There's like a certain point where where you you feel like you can't push it off anymore. Yeah. So you got to give it everything you got. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to scream because you don't want to you, know, you don't want to <laughs> yeah. alert al- al- alarm anybody. So what happened? So I pushed off though. Oh yeah. I, yeah. I, I got my okay. I got my reps in. I got my sets in. But you know I was just that just surprised me how strong like. Legs. I, my legs are. Yeah, yeah. I've never, you know, I never. Seen so, have, have you been getting sore since you're new at this? Oh yeah, like, like the really first, bad. the first time. You know, I tried because, because, like last year when I went to the gym, I went with my friend, mm-hmm. and he, uh, he, he's the one who put the weights for me. Oh wow! And I, you know, that's something that sh- that should never be yeah, done. True. You should, you should, you should to... yeah, you should do it at your own pace even and at what you can handle. You, yeah. yeah, even though they're trying to push you. Yeah. You know, at your own pace on what you what you can handle, especially especially if you're just getting in. Yeah, especially if you're getting in, you can strain. You can strain yeah, the muscle like real quick. so. Uh, I went to the gym with my friend, and this was a year ago. And you know, we we did heavy sets and heavy rep. I mean, heavy sets with low reps, and I, I had T Rex arms. You yeah. know, I could I couldn't bend them. <laughs> I, I should have been Jurassic Park or something. Yeah. Like I, I I couldn't bend them at all, and I could barely move my legs, <clears throat> and I remember the the like uh, the the day after that we went again, and I was on the incline uh, bench press, and I think I strained my my shoulder or something mm-hmm. or my arm, and like I was done. That whole that was my that was the first workout, and like, yeah. I strained it and I was done. I couldn't I couldn't use it anymore. Yeah, I remember I sh- I strained my my chest, or and then it was just it was yeah. so like it looked like it was swollen kind of. Oh my god! And my cousins were making fun of me, man. Oh, that, that's just fucked up. <laughs> really? Like, yeah. So because they didn't, I don't. I don't think they, they understand. Yeah, they don't think they understand, they understand how much painful how bad it was. <clears throat> that shit hurts. That yeah. shit really hurts. But so when I went again, um, this this past Monday, mm-hmm. you know, for the first time after a year, <clears throat> I went my own pace. But <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. I went my own pace, but you know, I went I went hard hard as I could. Yeah. But not too hard where I can't bend my arms. Yeah, yeah. Because I have to go again on Wednesday, and then oh, I have yeah. to go again on Friday. So, uh, you know, I pushed myself, but I I want to know like after my workout, I felt nauseous. Oh yeah, that's and that's normal. It's normal, right? Yeah. If you, you like light, push yourself, you you get light, especially if yeah. you're new. You get lightheaded and then you start to like. I it happened to me before and I started to panic and yeah yeah, yeah. you could probably you could actually pass out like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah it, so it's kind of it's kind of scary because um especially when you're new at it so yeah that's probably mainly the reason though yeah my body was sore I was sore I felt nauseous but you know I told myself like I I have to go I have to go in again Wednesday and I was I was scared like should should you work out when you're sore. Yeah, I think technically you should. They say it actually like makes you not sore. That's what people say. I don't know. Yeah. So when yeah, so when I when I went in when I was sore, I, I never did this before. Well, I have, and then that's when I got that strain, that yeah, shoulder strain. Yeah. Uh, but like, uh, I never did this properly before. Is when I'm sore, I go in and wait, lift weights, and the soreness disappears. So I'm guessing when the blood starts flowing and everything like that. Yeah. You know, it's it's all You're it's all good. good. Yeah, 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 it's all good. And then at the end of it, I was I, I could barely <laughs> walk down the stairs though. Oh, you can like Squidward. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, this collector guy, <laughs> this, oh. the the collector, the one who who had all these weights. Mm-hmm. Back to that story. Um, yeah, so I was I was trying to get in my um dumbbell, mm-hmm. my dumbbell workout in, and I'm looking for the right weight. And I'm looking. I'm looking for twenty pounds. Yeah, yeah. 
and I'm looking around. I only see one dumbbell that's it. 20 pounds. And then he's, <laughs> and then he, I guess he noticed me looking for like the other one. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, hey, hey, hey. I was like, oh, what's up, man? It was old dude too, but he was he was buff. Freaking ripped. Yeah, he was ripped on on, was, on the roids. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, that reminds me, like I I understand why people want to take steroids. Now. Yeah, I I understand. I, I totally I, understand. I totally get it. I now. think the down the down what is it? The downside. The downsides are are not worth. Oh yeah, they're it, not worth it at all. So. Yeah, 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 not at all. People people really just literally kill themselves after that. You know? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh yeah, people have died from that. Yeah, people have definitely died from that. But uh, yeah, the guy was like, hey. You looking for you looking for this? Uh, he pointed to the ground, and I looked at the ground. Pick it up, <laughs> pick it up, little boy. Is that what he said? This what you look for, little bitch weight right here. Uh, he's all five. He's all five foot tall. But uh, I looked at the ground. Not only did I see twenty pounds, I saw seventy five. I saw forty five. I said, "Oh God, this guy's this guy's serious." I was like, "Oh yes, sir, yeah, <laughs> yes, sir." I'm looking for twenty pounds. Saying, yes, him. <laughs> He was like, okay, yeah, just make sure you bring it back when you're oh, done. Oh, damn. I was like, yes, sir. Yeah, it's like you work for him. And then and then as soon as you grab the weight, right, you're like, oh, yeah. yes, he gave me the 20. He's yeah. like, he goes, you work for me now. <laughs> you my bitch. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I'll meet you in the showers. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, yeah, I grab the 20 weights. You know, I get my set in and you know, I, I give it back to him. It's all cool. You know, everybody, everybody in there, I'm, I haven't met an asshole yet. You, in man, there? yeah, you. Everyone is generally actually pretty cool. Yeah, like, they want to help you. Chill. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a cool little vibe. I think no matter what gym you go to, yeah. So, uh, sometimes you will meet ignorant assholes though, really? for sure. Yeah, I think they'll I... be grunting the whole time. Like, oh god! Like they're just walking to their station and they're like, <laughs> like they're like some goddamn dragon walking to their. <laughs> I don't know. I I've seen it all, man. <laughs> they're they're so, pretty. They're pretty serious. Yeah, they're serious, man. Oh my god! Like go to a different gym, bro. I remember uh, I was trying to get this up. This one workout in. And it's the it's the one where you have to pull pull it's pull, like a pull down pull down yeah okay. but it's like little for ropes. your triceps yeah for your triceps yeah. my triceps are fucking weak but it's a little pull down and um, I remember this girl came up to me she was like hey do you think we could uh, work work out on the same machine oh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, in my in, in my head I'm just like no I don't wanna I don't wanna you should have been like can I work you <laughs> 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 wait so. Remember I told you that story? That creeper guy, he wanted the same machine as me. I was doing sit-ups. I don't remember. What was it? Oh, never mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what happened? So, so, uh, so yeah, I was, in my head, I'm just like, oh, I don't, I just want to work on by myself. But, yeah, yeah. you know, me being a nice guy, I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem, of course. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> sure, no problem. <laughs> so, I'm working out, you know, I'm, 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 I'm putting the weight I want, right? And then she just leaves it though. She just she just leaves it at the weight that I have it. Mm-hmm. And I, like I, you know, I, I I make it heavier and I pull it down. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, damn, I don't want her to like because I rest. Yeah, yeah. So I'm taking like one minute, two minute rests, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't even know is is there a proper rest time, quote unquote? I think people try to say not to rest that long. Not to rest that long. Yeah. Maybe like, really? like yeah, like I really think it should be like ten seconds. And then, really? Yeah. Ten seconds. But for me, like what I like to do, since I want to lift heavy, especially I think I think body like uh, like strongmen, yeah, they they take long rest, longer rest, uh, but more weight. Yeah. But anyways, okay, yeah, so, so so yeah, I'm I'm getting my reps in or whatever like that, and I just I just she's 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 going from the machine I'm working on uh-huh. to the squat rack, and okay. she's just going back and forth, back yeah. and forth like that, and um, I was like, wow. It's just, uh, it's just interesting. Yeah, I mean, yeah. she was, she was, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. But then was she, it was all good though. Like just sharing. It was all good, but I, I would have punched her. I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh I would have fucking uppercut her. <laughs> I was kidding. But, uh, <clears throat> it, it was all good, but I just, it's just something like sharing, sharing machines. Yeah. It's just kind of like, leave me the fuck alone. You, <laughs> you, you, you fucking dumb bitch. I mean, I how about, go how about, it. how about I put your, your head <laughs> In these fucking machines and smash your fucking head. Oh my god! You, fuck, you damn bitch. You want Roy's or what? Sorry guys. <laughs> so there's uh, the other day, some guy was like, "Hey man, can you can you uh what do you call it? spot me?" Yeah. He was uh, doing bench press, chest, whatever. Yeah. And I was like, I, just, I was like, all right. And then his friend, his friend uh was recording. I was like, fuck. What oh, you're gonna me, be. I was like, let me record. <laughs> okay. 
He's like, oh man, you got it, dude. I was like, all right, oh, yeah. dude, this is a lot of fucking weight. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, he was bench pressing a lot of weight. Damn. And then he did, he kept going like, all right, I'm gonna do ten more. All right, ten more. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, so and then I'm, he could he did the last one. I was yeah. trying to help him lift it up. I was yeah. struggling. <laughs> I was like, you know what? This is where he dies. <laughs> This is it. This is it, guys. This is my fault. I'm weak <laughs> as fuck. He died. No, no. It's it's actually... I, I even saw it on Instagram. But, yeah. But it was a lot of weight, dude. I couldn't yeah. help this guy. Oh, my God. Some some of these guys are just superhuman. Yeah. When, when, with the weights I'm seeing they're lifting, I'm like, damn, I want to be like that one day. Yeah, hopefully. hopefully. But that girl, though, there's... At 5 a.m., I'm surprised the amount of girls that are, like... They that that mood, are man. fine. They're trying to, they're they're, trying to they're, work. They're know? fine. Oh. Like, they're, they're cute. They're, they, they make money, man. I know that's true. Gotta get the IG money. One of my friends says that if you have time to work out, yeah. you're probably you be probably make money. I don't know uh-uh. how, how that works. That's but. interesting. Especially if you dress dress in a way where <clears throat> you look like you're, you work out. Yeah. <clears throat> like athletic clothes or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to go at five AM to avoid them. <clears throat> to avoid yeah, all we, those we're distractions. We're but, and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't know what's going on. Are we poison or what? But um that brings me to my next point. Mm-hmm. So, have you ever met a girl that, as soon as you look at them, as soon as you look at her, mm-hmm. your heart just like skips skips a beat? Is it <clears throat> is it because he, like the way she looks, or like, it could be because the way because she looks, or she ca- catches you off guard? Oh, okay. Or, off guard? Is it like love at first sight, kind of? It could be like that. Okay. It could be because I got a story about that. So I, I think I have. Yeah, actually. Mm, I'm trying to think I think Yeah maybe there's one girl One Oh uh, yeah Go ahead So <coughs> I was at Target The other day um, To get my Black Panther uh, oh, okay. Blu-ray uh, CD uh, Shout out to Black Panther Please watch it If you haven't It's a <laughs> It's a cultural pheno- Phenomenon mm-hmm. But um, Chima's Nigerian Oh yeah so, I'm, I'm Nigerian So that's way. It's basically Based on Yeah my people. I yeah. mean, it's a it's a culmination of like a whole oh, bunch okay, of okay. African cultures, but yeah. I could definitely definitely get hints yeah. of my Nigerian culture yeah, in it. there. Yeah, I yeah. feel it. That's why I, I connect would too with it so if much. I was Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> like the music and everything like that. Yeah. I was like, damn, I really feel this. Like it really pumps me up. So, anyways, I was I was in Target and I was walking to the um to the checkout, <clears throat> and I saw the I, I was looking left. <clears throat> Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we need some water here. Hold on, we, we over here dying, man. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> I have no idea what's going on. Jerm went to go get some uh, get some water, so it's just me and you folks. Um, thanks for joining us again. Thanks for listening to us. Greatly appreciate it. Don't know why we're coughing so much. Got a lot of mucus in my mouth. Maybe some bacteria unloaded in my throat. But, uh, Damn it! There's no water in the office. No water? Oh, because there's no water in the office because we're actually in the process of moving. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll update so, you guys on that on the moving situation. Part part in all the <clears throat> in the coughs yeah. and things like that. So I was at Target, mm-hmm. and <laughs> and so when I was walking to the to the checkout, I was looking left as I was walking. I was just looking at the different aisles or whatever. I wasn't looking for women like a creep. Um, then I, I turned my head and Wait, I, where, what, what aisle were you in? Were, were you in the condom section? Or... <laughs> <laughs> no, I was in the makeup section. I'm trying oh, to get okay. my makeup game on point, but, uh, I turn, I turn my head and I'm look and then I look straight and I see this, this beautiful ebony goddess, Damn. green eyes. What if she's a celebrity? You just didn't know. Maybe. Instagram model. Ooh, she could have been. They, they, they be out there, man. You just don't know. But the thing about this is not... When I looked at her, I didn't, my heart didn't leap because, you know, I, I was mm-hmm. looking at her. It left because she was staring at me when she was walking the opposite way. It's like she was walking towards me oh. and she was staring at me and she had a smile on her face. Oh. And that's when my heart leapt because she was, she was a beautiful black how, goddess. How old was she? Mm, let me dance around this age right here. I'm going to say, uh, 22? Twenty three. Oh, okay. She was she was she was young. You should just grabbed her butt. <laughs> just be like bow. What, what, right when you walk past her in the on the same aisle or whatever. <laughs> I know you were looking at me. I know you want it. So what happened? You just fell in love. <clears throat> yeah, I just fell in love. Like that's that's. So she was a ten. You telling me that? I mean, for my heart to leap like that. Real quick. Okay. To leap like that, I would I would I would say so. I mean, 
it's 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 like all of a sudden when you look at her when i looked at her my heart left i had butterflies in my stomach and i had to look away you know it was, yeah, yeah. It was too much because if i kept looking i would probably like explode or <laughs> explode or something no but, yeah um for for me i yeah. think this is there's just one person uh, I'm not, I'm not going to get too detailed. Okay. Because it's very it's a very interesting story. All right. And I don't want that person to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to this I guess it was a party? Yeah, okay. it was a party. Okay. And then there's this girl I, I had never met her yet, but we know of each other and whatnot. Right. And then I I guess I ran into her in a lobby. Mhm. And man, she was so pretty. And I like I I went up to her and just like shook her hand. Yeah. And I was just like, "Damn." Man. <laughs> She's she's like a goddess, and she's a goddess in person. I think I even um, I texted my cousin, like, "Hey, I just met blah blah blah. What do I do?" <laughs> she's she's so pretty yeah. in person, blah blah. And Damn, yeah, dude. there's that one person, but I don't like her no more. So. Oh, what happened? Uh, I'll talk about it. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm but uh, so like with girls like that though. They don't even know. They don't they even don't, know how 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 powerful they are, dude. That's con- I've been preaching, I've guys. Been, dude, I've been preaching this <laughs> since high school. <laughs> Women have so much power. Yeah. They don't know. Guys be melting, man. They be, dude. Governments, like, back way back in the hey, day. Gail. If you heard, if you if you know the story of Troy, the okay. fall of Troy. Okay. It was because of a woman really? named Hel. It was a Helen or Hella, something okay. like that. <laughs> And it was because of her that 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 city has fallen. <laughs> Women have so much power they don't know if if they ah. if they band together. So one person can just shut down L.A. Is that what you're telling me? I'm telling you, one person, not only L.A., they can shut down the <laughs> U.S. <laughs> if they wanted to, <laughs> they have no idea. So how what if it was like China or something? <laughs> it was a big ass country. <laughs> I'm I'm sure. They could shut down the whole world if they wanted to. They yeah. can rule the whole world if they so, wanted to. So, what if we had a, a president that's yeah. a girl that was just so hot? <laughs> <laughs> Man, hey, she, you know, God... <clears throat> so, the polls are going to come out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, everyone's a, a freaking Democrat or whatever. <laughs> 99.9% voted for her. For some, for some freaking odd reason... <laughs> Her freaking whatever, it, her polls, her, her bars is just like yeah. it's just through the roof, and everybody like all her com- uh, competitors are just their bars are just way like yeah. at zero. Or she something. doesn't have to like pull people in no. anymore with she, the speech. She can just say, you know what? What I want to change? <laughs> <laughs> what I, I, <laughs> I want free salads for everybody. Damn. Everybody would cheer. Yeah, the best president ever. <laughs> Show your tits. <laughs> Dude, she can stop wars with her yeah. with her looks. You know, if like if you know Al Qaeda or something like America, I hate America, <laughs> death to all Americans. And then she comes out with a video. Please, <laughs> please be respectful. Man, everyone's gonna and like. Vulnerable. Everybody will fall in love. Five with million her. likes on YouTube. Easy. Every, everybody will fall in love with her. But she has to have a dude though. Uh, she has to have the dude really? because, I mean, hmm, I know because if a hot girl like that was president. And she didn't have a dude. People would say like, "Oh, damn, she's really strong. She's independent. She's fierce. You know, things like that." She doesn't. Would, so, would you call them first lady? Oh no! Oh, the guy. Yeah. So the guy would be first man. <laughs> first men. First, first man. First, first man of the first house. First dude. First guy. Uh, I don't know. Man. I don't know. I do you think that's like? <laughs> I don't, don't want to get in this double standard waters here, but uh-huh. you know when you. When you hear like the first lady, it's like, oh, you know, she's elegant, yeah, she's, yeah, yeah. she's calm, she's professional, yeah. things like that. And then, but if it's a dude that's yeah. married to the president, you hear first, first man or first guy or whatever like yeah, that. Yeah, I guess we don't know. We won't know. We won't know. Unfortunately. Oh well, maybe <laughs> we'll in the future. Mm, future presidents. No, we'll probably be old as hell by then. <laughs> Man, we got we got a long way to go for us. We're gonna be old. But, like, my thing is, like, you know, hot girls like that, they have a lot of power. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. you know, the guys that they do date, you know, those type of... <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? They're bad? No. <laughs> like, they're, they're, they don't get the right guy? No, I'm just I'm just saying, like, what, what type of dudes do they do they date? Like, mm-hmm. say... Um, you'll, probably, you'll probably see a, every now and then, I guess, some of them will get with a guy that's, like, a... 
Oh, like a like a. I guess a loser. <laughs> a loser, like you mean in looks or like the way he's. Both. Oh, okay. Both. Just the way he carries himself and. Yeah. Uh, I see. I think that's like just the. You'll mistake. you'll see some of those every now and then, but yeah. it's pretty rare. I think I'm seeing that seeing one of that right now. Oh really? With with a with a with a, a mutual. <clears throat> oh, a friend of a friend, a friend of a friend. Oh, I should okay, say, okay. a friend of a friend. <clears throat> this guy is just like, why? Like he's just dumb. <laughs> he's not. No, no. Anyways, no, yeah. <laughs> Let's just get back to. Uh... Anyways, so, um, how many of these girls have actually dated like celebrities though? Oh man, you know, I think a do, lot of like do celebrities even date quote unquote normal girls like non celebrity people? You think? Yeah, but because there's so many people out there. Yeah, like, yeah. You, there's so many rich people out there, actually. Yeah, okay. But yeah. of course, they're gonna want to use like celebrity guys. So, yeah. so, how would you feel if if you like that girl? Okay, so, so you like this girl from Target, right? The Black Goddess. Yeah, and she likes you. Yeah. Let's just say she likes you, okay. and, and you date her. Yeah. And then you guys are dating, and she yeah. goes, "Yeah, I dated Justin Bieber." Hmm. Like. I mean, then I'll go to Google mm-hmm. and look at that naked photo of Justin Bieber. What? <laughs> What? See, see how big. I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, see what he, what his personality oh, is like. <laughs> see what? Not for, oh, all serious. Like, um, if she said she dated Justin Bieber, mm-hmm. that would be like, oh, then, why are you with me? <laughs> <laughs> like for real, like, what, what do you want out of this? Like, <laughs> am I some type of experiment? It's Seriously, like, are you are you playing games with me? Like, I get mad and stuff. Like, why did he drop her? <laughs> You know? Oh, are you crazy? <laughs> are you? Did you cheat on him? Did you take all his money? Yeah, there'll be a lot of a lot a lot a lot of questions. Yeah, that, that it would suck because like I hate to say it, you're nothing comparable to Justin Bieber practically because he's done it all, yeah. has all the money. Has he all money, has he's probably looks. been with all the girls already. So yeah. many girls. Yeah. He's especially that Selena Gomez. Oh yeah. Don't her. That's his. That's his like day one. <laughs> <laughs> that's his day one girl. So. How many of these celebrities have dated porn stars, though? Do you think? Or you think that'll be that'll be on the down low? If a celebrity was to get do. with a porn star, I think so, they do, man. They just they just know each other, the fame. And... Yeah. Because I remember. Would you date a porn star? Ooh, that's a tough question. Would I date a porn star? That's that is tough. I I, mean... I, I almost want want to say no. <clears throat> yeah. I pretty much want to say no, actually, but no, there might because she be... might come home from work one day, yeah. and you'd be like, "Honey, how was work?" Yeah. She was like, "Oh, it was fantastic. I loved work." What if she quit then? She quit her job. Yeah, and because you know, porn stars they really say it's a profession. Yeah, like they're it's really their job to just make films. Yeah, and just but like, yeah, just to horny. just to act. They're horny, you know. <laughs> so they're they're just acting in the in the sexual. In the sexual realm yeah. of filmmaking, yeah, yeah, basically, they're they're filming the scenes where we watch in movies that they cut away. Yeah, I don't think they can do it. Just watch because like some of those will just pop up and then bam, she probably has a collection. Yeah, and she's you know just a whole bunch of dudes. Just, yeah, yeah, that that'd be a that'd be a bad time. Ten minute alien because um, Drake. <laughs> Cause Drake, I remember. Yeah, I think we talked about this. Did we? Yeah. Where he hit up yeah. the porn star Mia Khalifa. Yeah, she and she, she pretty much up. embarrassed him. I think. Yeah. yeah, a whole bunch of like celebrities, like uh, football players. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Or basketball players or yeah, something yeah. like that. They would hit her up, and but I think it'd be see they DM her. Yeah. So they're trying to get with her, you know, on the low. Man, but I I think they have that power though. I yeah. Oh, dude. they could DM any girl. Like basketball players can oh. DM any girl. Oh yeah. And they pretty much. They get them. Yeah, they can. They can. Uh, I wonder how many of them DM the cheerleaders though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's against regulation. Actually, probably against not. Against rules. It's probably not. But I think they have better. <clears throat> they have more options that that they wouldn't even go for the cheerleaders. Oh, that's true. See what I'm saying? They yeah. they probably rather go with Rihanna or something. Rihanna, of course. Damn. Everyone sees her as a god, man. Rihanna? Yeah. I mean, she's cool. She's cool and all. I mean, Sorry. she's. She's fine. Yeah, I'm more. I'm more of a, I'm more of a what you call it, Jennifer Lopez oh. type, type Man, guy. She's, she's old too, but she's, she's old. She look good though. <laughs> she <laughs> look good for her age, dude. I remember she was in that one movie with this. Uh, she was like having an affair. Yeah, with yeah, this kid I know you're talking about. Or whatever. Something and, next door. Or something. Yeah, some, yeah, yeah. Guy next door, boy next door, something like that. And he turned out to be spoiler. He turned out to be like a, a psycho? psychopath. Yeah. 
And um, I remember watching this movie. And there's some explicit sex yeah. scenes in there. But like, damn, naked. J-Lo? She's not naked, though. No, she's not naked, but, you Like, know. they don't actually show it. That's true. That's what you have porn for. <laughs> the, the porn doesn't shy away from it. Um, let's do a, a segue to uh, to uh, us moving. Oh, okay. So uh, we're actually moving office locations. We're not sure what the situation yeah. is. What's we don't know what's gonna really happen. We might have like we might actually have to do some temporary <clears throat> spots, which would be at Chima's yeah area. Yeah, we'll be at my spot. Because uh, if the audio quality changes or if, you know, oh, yeah. noise changes or whatever like that, we apologize. It's just that we're in the process of trying to find another office space. Yeah. I'm to... actually moving houses right mm-hmm. now. Do, yeah. do you get helicopters over your house? No, we don't get helicopters, but our the the road is sort of... Um, oh, it's on the main road. It's, yeah, sort of on the main road. So, like, cars yeah. come and go. And uh, there's, like, usually... Um, people who uh, gardeners there's usually gardeners long uh mowing the lawn but the garage or the the office space that we can film in yeah i think i think it could block out some of that noise yeah i'm not sure okay well we'll we'll, we we'll see out. and we'll we'll update you guys and yeah and whatnot we're we're actually also trying to get on spotify we freaking yeah. we submitted uh what is it we, we submitted we, our episodes yeah to to spotify like how many weeks ago one week Two weeks? Maybe two weeks, two weeks ago. Two weeks? Yeah. yeah, it's so it's so difficult to get on Spotify. I mean, because we're in order to get on Spotify, you have to submit your episodes through a hosting site. Yeah, and then the hosting site takes your episodes, gives it to Spotify, and then Spotify reviews your episodes and then puts your episodes on on its platform. Yeah, and it's this this hosting website that we're using. What I've read is that it usually takes from three weeks to a month to which get your episode long. yeah which is a long Imagine time if we're they like charge us every yeah. month if we, we if, still haven't yeah, even gotten on exactly if we paid every month then it'd be you know it'd be kind of horrible for us because our episodes are not even the whole point of the hosting site was to get our episodes on spotify to you guys so it'd be a lot easier for you guys to get you know get the episodes quick as possible uh, as easy as possible too yeah so it just sucks, but hopefully we'll get we'll get our episodes out on Spotify and we'll let you we'll definitely let you know. <clears throat> sure. So yeah, um, all right, guys, we're gonna have to end it here. Just like that's all the time you have. Thanks for listening. Check us out on iTunes and DiscoverSeason.com. Also, if you have any topics that you want to give us, email us at the Hideout Podcast. Oh, sorry, <laughs> email us at the Hideout Podcast at gmail.com. Um, thank you for listening. Uh, hope to see you next week. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Thank there you.